Good morning, faithful viewer. <clears throat> Uh, so today we're going to be talking all about video testimonials, how important they are, how, uh, what kind of questions you should be asking and then how you can use those videos um, as in not just one video but you can make sort of five videos from each video testimonial or six videos, yeah, six videos from each video testimonial and then how you can use them and how, or how important they are. Um, so today, later this afternoon, I am filming two video testimonials for Mark Bradshaw from BEA Solutions. You may remember him from the behind the scenes episode. I will link it there. But first, I'm at the four networking uh, meeting in Ascot. Um, I'm going to meet Billy Lyle, who is a video toolkit member. So we're going to talk about how he's getting on with his videos um, and also talk to some other people as well. Okay, let's go. So it's eight o'clock. Better go in now. Uh, it's all getting started. It's all kicking off this morning. Eight a.m. So we're here at stop one. So firstly, I thought I'd go through what is a video testimonial. So if you don't know, a uh, video testimonial is basically a normal testimonial that you get on your website or LinkedIn, but it's in video form. And the beauty of that is that you can then have it as a written form as well, because you can literally just type up what the person has said. Um, a problem with what people find with a lot of testimonials is they just ask for a testimonial, they ask for a video testimonial. Um, and what they get back is usually just something a bit flabby, a bit, nothingy that it's a bit kind of like oh uh, yeah they did a really good job uh, really nice person um, and great value for money that's not a great testimonial so what we're going to do in this video is go through uh, the five questions you need to ask to get a really good quality video testimonial and then what you can do with those testimonials afterwards so how you can share it how you can get the most from it um, also why you would want a video testimonial um, I find that the, the reason for getting testimonials and video testimonials is, is because it's actually telling the story of someone you've helped. So you can say, oh, I do this, this, and this, but if you've got somebody else saying it for you and somebody else telling uh, everybody about the results that they've achieved because of their work with you, I think that's a lot more powerful um, than just you saying it all the time. So that's why we're gonna get these video testimonials today. Um, and that's why you should be going out getting video testimonials as um, like quite as regularly as you can. All done. Uh, first one done anyway. So we've got to travel about half hour to the next one. Um, running early, so that's good. Um, I gave myself quite a bit of time to travel in between these. Um, so, let's sort of sum up what questions you should be asking in your video testimonials to get a really good quality video testimonial, rather than just asking for a video testimonial and getting something wishy-washy back. So the first question is, who are you and who do you serve? So you wanna get a good idea of um, the company, who that person is, their role within the company, and then the kind of people that their business helps. Second question is, um, what were things like before you started working with me? So um, let them paint a picture of how things were beforehand, um, t talk about the problems they had, and then the third question is, why did you choose me? Uh, why did you choose that company? And this will give you an idea of why they why they sort of made that jump, why they chose you in particular over other companies, and what made you stand out. Fourth question is how have things changed since working with me? And this is really a contrast between th uh, this question and the second question. So the second question was all about the negative things, all the problems they were having, and this question, you wanna get answers that, um, talking about the problems you solved, how easy things are now, how things are working like clockwork, those are all like tick boxes that you wanna hear in this question. Fifth question is, how would you recommend me? So this will give you an idea of who they'd recommend you to, uh, what they would say to people to recommend you, and if they actually would recommend you. Finally, there's sort of a, a sixth question there as well, um, but some people choose not to answer it, and that is, is there anything that surprised you? So in this question, you wanna talk about the things that you over-delivered on that they might not have been expecting. So is there anything that they weren't expecting happen, but they were really impressed that you put that little bit of extra effort in to get 
um, to help them out um, and, and kind of things maybe you didn't contract for when you were talking to them initially initially um, so that's the questions that you need to ask to get a really good video testimonial I'm gonna travel to the next um, place now which will be the last uh, video testimonial I'll be shooting today and then we're gonna be talking about how you can share your video testimonials and how you can get the most from the video testimonials that you use so let's get on the road again All done. Um, I realised that I've done a lot of this talking inside the car today, so I'm going to try and do the next bit where I round up how you can use video testimonials outside of the car because it's boring sitting in a car all day talking, and you don't want to see me in the car, you want to see me in exotic locations such as this. Like this exotic location back in the office in Andover. So, to wrap up, Video testimonials, you can use these in so many different ways. So once you've got them, you can obviously use them as what it is. It is exactly a video testimonial. So all the questions you've asked in one video. But then you can break that video down into five or six separate videos, depending on how many questions you've asked. Um, and then if you've got a number of people that you've asked questions for, you can mix and match the best questions into separate questions. You can have... Um, people answering the different questions over the six questions and then you can put those different clips into other videos as well such as sales videos where you need to back up what you're saying with people that you've actually helped so that's a really good idea of getting some really good quality um, testimonials in other videos and then of course you can use these quotes across your website and social media as well um, and then the little clip videos as well across social media so there's loads of different things that you can do with these video testimonials and that's they're so versatile in, um, in the fact that you can literally use them anywhere and in other types of videos as well so my challenge to you after watching this episode of the video show is to use these questions that you've learned in this episode and either make a video for someone, making a video testimonial for someone you've worked with recently, or ask someone to make a video testimonial for you. So that's what I want you to do. And then once you've done that, send that to me at office at redbookproductions.co.uk because I would love to see it and I'd love to share it for you as well. So that's it. Remember to subscribe after watching this episode and have a really good rest of the day or whatever. I'm filming this on a Friday, so it's, I'm kind of tempted to say, have a really good weekend. Bye.